the best team for road to college football playoff is the Alabama Crimson Tide. And I'm going to explain why in this video. So not only are they probably the best team in the game, they are at least a top two or three team, right? Milrow is by far the best quarterback or the most overpowered quarterback and the glitchiest quarterback, the quarterback that can do the most for your offense. They have quick jumps on their defense. They have four of them, I believe, which is plenty to run any of the best defenses in the game. And then they also have a super fast secondary. They have um, a 98 speed safety and then two 97, a 97 speed corner and a 98 speed corner. So they have a super fast secondary so they can cover. They have the ability to get pressure because they have the quick jump ability, which is literally the most important ability in this game. And on offense, they have the best quarterback. So just off that alone, they are really, really, really good. I'm actually going to check to see if my depth chart saved while we're here because I tried to set this offline. I don't know if it will save. It did not save because road to college football playoff is so aggravating. They have literally taken what should have been the best mode and they've made it super frustrating. Um, but anyway here, so these are the receivers that I rock. I do not like this Bernard dude. I think he's terrible. Um, and then at the linebacker position, we want to have caught and we want to have this dude Robinson and then at the user, we want this dude, Campbell. At defensive end, we want to have um, Rusaw and Keeley. So we're going to go Keeley, and then we're going to go Rusaw. And then at the cornerback position – or uh, oh, real quick, defensive tackle is actually important. You don't want 58 speed. <laughs> you want Overton as your starting defensive tackle, and then you want um, basically somebody that, somebody that can, can run. Um, so let me see if I can find. Let me see if I can find somebody. I mean, seventy speed, seventy two speed. That's that's perfectly fine uh, for our purposes. Cornerbacks. So here's your ninety eight speed, dude. This guy in Bakway is really good. And then the best slot corner in the game, Xavier Mincy. The reason why he's the best, he has quick jump. So you can blitz him, and he will be effective. You have Moore, who's a really good safety. You have this guy Sab. I would take him out, and I would put Mac in here. Ninety eight speed. And then at the sub linebacker positions, because the best defense to run with Alabama, in my opinion, is probably either 3 3 mint or double A. You want to be in sub linebackers. We want this to be our guys Robinson, and we want this to be Keeley or uh, Caught. And then, kind of same deal here rush left end, we're going to put uh, Keeley. And then right end, we're going to put Rusaw. And then DT is going to be. Overton first, and then second DT is going to be Fox. There you go. That's the Alabama depth chart. Let's get into it. So we have a full ebook on uh, the de the schemes you want to run with Alabama. We have a full ebook on trips, which it's actually their trips. It's the best trips in the game, in my opinion, uh, because of this quarterback zone play. And then it all we also have uh, we also have the nickel double mug broke down. So literally everything you need to win with this team, you're going to be able to find in our school community. And it's only ten dollars. And if you want to start having a lot of fun on the road to college football playoff, I would tell you that this is the best possible way to play the mode because the quick audibles are really good out of this. You have really like every play can be ran out of these quick audibles. So you don't even need to set audibles, even though I think they did patch that. You literally don't even need to set audibles as we get stripped. I don't know how we got stripped right there, but we did. And then you also have uh, some really cool bubblegum formations. You have this split formation, which is really good. You have um, the other thing about Alabama that is really, really good is you have bunch tight end. You have gun bunch tight end as well in this playbook. As um, you see right here, this halfback off tackle is actually really good. I had a guy run this on me in a tournament. Super hard to guard. And then, again, you just have quarterback. You just have everything you need with Alabama. That's what I'm trying to say. So if I was playing, you know, and I wanted to grind the leaderboard for road to college football playoff, this would be the team that I would probably choose just because of the way they, they've kind of made uh, the road to college football playoff. So this is what I'm rocking here. I hate this delay of game stuff. It drives me insane that this is an issue in this game and they need to patch it because here's the frustrating part. I have 30, see how I have 27 seconds right here. I better have 27 seconds when I come out. I actually do. Okay. That's fair. That's kind of cool that in Madden, there's actually a, a super big runoff. So I'm glad that there's not in this game. I thought there was, but of course, as I'm trying to talk about things, 
get the chat and then I'm not setting up my combos. This 15 yard in route, I, th- I would put the 15 yard in route as one of the best routes on the game when you pair it with this whip. This whip is super good. So I feel really good right now in the game. Uh, feel really, really good. If you guys want to check out, like I said, the, all of the ebooks. And we also have more like optimized ebooks as well. Like if you're not having to play this mode, and we are dropping a Texas scheme because Texas is by far the best uh, defense in the game. So if you want to use my Texas scheme for road, to co- it's specifically for this mode because this is the mode that I want to play the most. And I think this is the mode that I think if people were honest, it's probably the mode that most people want to play when you're playing college football. We are. And, and the cool part is all, all this stuff can work and cut. Honestly, it seriously can. Like you don't have to have quick jumps to run the double mug. And then every defense in cut is eventually going to have quick jumps. So you're going to be fine in that regard as well. Let's see if this um, – I actually was trying to kind of test something out there. Dude, Mil- see what I'm saying about Milro? Like, you don't even have to be – like, I'm not even a good runner, and Milro is just unbelievably good. And, again, the I think it was really cool about this, this formation. The other thing you have in here is you have this F-Twins, which is basically Wildcat. This is basically Wildcat. And, but the, it, it's honestly, in my opinion, a little better because you can audible so I could audible out of this. I could audible into this. Um, I find that to be a super, super good capability of this this playbook. Th- this playbook has the things you need to be able to win at the at the highest level. Uh, you have single back tight, for example, at the wide zone. If you want to run some stretch, you have bunch tight in trips tight in. You don't have bunch strong, uh, but bunch tight in can kind of do a lot of things that bunch strong can. And then again, you know, this, this, we know how good the running game is in this game. I actually really like, let's try this. Uh, let's try this pistol wing flex close. See how this works. This wide zone could be, I've seen pistol actually be pretty good. So we'll see how this is. And just the stock audibles in Alabama's playbook, at least, especially on offense, which is really where it matters. The stock audibles, you don't even have to be able to set audibles. You could just log on, play with Bama, and win like it's it to me this is the most optimized team for road to college football playoff and a lot of people would say that Alabama might just about out be the most optimized team for any game mode tournaments money games anything but I still think to, I actually prefer using Texas in that in that setting so double mug as you can see we have Russo we have Fox Overton Keeley and then we have caught and Robison uh, this is the key to the defense more, I don't know why he's here. I want this guy Mincy here. Uh, we could also, because I lurk with the slot corner, we could put, uh, we could also put that uh, safety there. I like to lurk with the slot corner a lot. So he's going to be running some double mug, or we're going to be running some double mug. He's going to be running, running the ball, pistol full house. This quarterback for Kansas is really good. Best coaching adjustments, disable this, conservative, conservative. Put these curl flats on 25 if you want to Mabel. But actually, one of the best things that nobody's really talking about in this game yet is seam flats are really good. Um, seam flats are super, super good. Let me see if I can get this set up here. I'm not able to. That's fine. But Mincy is so good because he has quick jump. So he's going to – the other thing that – another underrated thing about quick jump is you're not just going to get like a quick step off the ball – for pass rush purposes, you get a quick step off the ball for user purposes as well. So I'll kind of explain that as we go through this game. Again, I'm going to be in nickel dog, three buzz as my base, I think, because I want to use her that slot corner. I wonder if I can set this to cover three. I don't think that works very well. Let's, uh, let's go default, actually. Let's just try. Let's just try this default. When they go to formations like this, I like to just put that slot corner on a seam flat and call it good. Seam flats are so good. Like, they're, they're probably the best underneath zone uh, in the game. Seam flats and three rec hook zones are really good. Vert hooks are good, too. But, but seam flats are super good. Okay, so he's going to go wildcat here. I'm going to go to 4-4. Four, four. Um, 
their 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 defensive playbook is probably their biggest weakness. Honestly, they don't have three four odd. But we'll see if I can stop this. I don't know that I can, honestly. I'm just trying to overload. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to. I'll have to figure something else out for Wildcat. The pursuit angles are so bad. Like, you can just so easy. It's so easy to miss tackles, bro. <sighs> the fact that we gave up a touchdown on fourth and four. We just got absolutely shamed. All right, I hope he goes for two. That's all right. We get the ball back. We can go score. I believe he's going to be... Uh, getting ball at a half, so we do kind of need to score. So we can go pistol. I really like. I really. I ideally, I actually think this could be a really good red zone defense. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We're there. We're there. We're there. We're there. Yep. 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 I got a lab four 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 is good uh, in this game. I was actually. It's. I wish that the pen. So the one issue with four four. 4-4 would probably be the best defense in the game if you could pinch the D-line like you can in 6-1. The issue with 4-4 is they made it so that the pin when you pinch the defensive line, you're not going to be able um, – like, like they're not pinched in enough, basically. So it's not – as good as 6-1. So 6-1 is still better. 6-1 is probably the best defense of the game, and I'm going to be dropping a full ebook on that. And he just blows the coverage, so we'll just take the free touchdown. I am going to be dropping a full ebook on 6-1. It's probably on the side already as you're watching the video, but that's going to be up there. So we're going to have nickel double mug, nickel 3-3-5 penny, and 4 3 even 6 one full defensive ebooks. And then we have what I've been doing so far for kind of launch – just to make things a little easier for you guys so that you can have access to it, is I've been doing uh, a ton of mini breakdowns, like where I just break down basically like the blitz concept, and then you can put the coverages that you want to use. So I've broken down 3-3 mint, 3-3 stack, double mug, 3-3-5 stack, like probably over 10 different defenses in that, in that uh, material. So that is kind of the plan and again, you get all the content for being a member. It's only ten bucks to sign up too. So, if you want to sign up, link is below. All right, I like to see this. I like to see this. Okay, so when he does this, I just need to use this guy, and vert hook this dude. Yeah, this this is good. D. I like this. Let's seam flat, seam flat, seam flat. So what seam flat does is, uh, if you didn't know, seam flat has matching principles within it. Um, and so because the seam flat has matching principles and the way that they've coded the game, what happens is you're going to be able to basically play match when you use seam flats. If you don't use seam flats, like let's say you use a hard flat, what I've noticed is the matching principles essentially cancel the seconds you're putting, you take those zones away. Um, that's what I've seen. I could be completely wrong on that because it's super early in the year. But this is kind of what I'm seeing. So if you want to play match defense, you want to be using seam flats. And I actually have an unbelievably effective match. I actually really like this. I think I'm going to stay on the safety. So when he goes with this trips weak, this is a really, really good defense uh, to be able to bag it. I'm going to quarter to these guys. And then you'll see they'll just match. Only problem is I forgot about the best quarterback in college football 25. That's not Jalen Milrow. Okay, we got to figure out this shell. I'm going to try cover three shell. Okay, I'm never going to call cover three shell again. Look what it did to my linebacker. This game is so frustrating with these shells, bro. Let's go cover zero. I can't believe that. Did you see my linebacker? Okay, this is probably a little bit better. I'm going to spy this defensive end. Okay, that seemed flat. Just let's uh, just vert hook, vert hook, vert hook, vert hook. There. Okay, that did not go well. <sighs> That's what I'm saying. This is what I've talked about this before, guys. Like, it drives me insane how they how they structured the alignment for this game. It absolutely does not make sense. Look at the quick snap. I, I just I, I it just drives me insane. Like we could stop it, it, it just you can't you can't move sometimes in this game. 
like the button delay. I don't know exactly what it is. I think it's better if we just set up our adjustments and then we set up our defense. I really want to quarter this guy. Now I got to change back. Okay, we got to watch this dude. But other than that, we should be okay. I need to back that guy off. Can I seam flat? No, I can't. Shoot. I can't do that. All right, I'll take that corner. Dude, how is this open? But see, the only problem with seam flats is like the running back just kills you. If you if you if you run seam flats too much, the running back can just absolutely kill you. We have to be able to stop this play. Let's spread our D line. Let's 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 just do this. I don't know if this will work. It did not work. Yeah, I don't know how to stop the run out of six one. I don't know how to stop stop it out of this. Frick. He runs Wildcat and we're just literally un we're just incompetent all of a sudden. I got to look up a setup. I got to look up some notes. I don't know if I have something for, for Wildcat. I don't really play Wild. Like, I, I know a lot of people play Wildcat. I don't play Wildcat a ton. Um, or at least I haven't so far. And here we are. I played a ton of Ohio State. So, like, when I, if you play this mode, Ohio State doesn't have Wildcat in their playbook, but they have the best running back. So, what I've been playing a lot is, like, Ohio State, and then they'll just run with with Judkins from a lot of different looks, as a as opposed to being in the Wildcat with the Jayhawks here. All right, let's go quick base. Let's see if we can just get the run game going here. I was hoping to break that tackle. I did not break that tackle. One of the real underrated things I just feel like in this game, I don't like the fatigue and the wear and tear stuff. And I feel like that is what happens whenever you run the ball or um, run no huddle. So like, you don't want to, I don't, I personally, I try not to run no huddle as much as possible. The fact that tight end corner routes are good in this game also makes trips so much better, but you could do something like what I'm about to do right here. So like, if you ever want to just kind of, this is what you could do with Alabama's playbook. You know, you can audible here. And let's say you want to run like triple out. One of the best setups for triple out is a very simple one. You're just going to stem this dude, streak this dude, and just call hike. And, and you should hit this corner route wide open. Very nice. So you see how, see how you're able to just kind of like quickly go to things? That, that's another reason why this playbook is so good. Because it allows you to kind of get to a lot of the best stuff in the game i really looking for the seam streak i think we can hit this and we're not going to be able to we'll get shedded but milro is him and we'll just call timeout right there we didn't didn't get it done milro saved a sack though because he is unbelievably good all right i think the right call here one of the underrated setups from trips that you can do this year too Something like this, and then you're just going to motion this guy in. Basically motion across. So you have the streak up the middle, and then you have that. We're actually going to just try to back shoulder this. Very nice. So you see, I mean, this, this there's just so much you can do out of this. You have this wing trips, which is wing trips is really good too. Let's see if we can just run quarterback zone here straight up the gut. Just power it in with Milro. There it is. And we get a two-possession lead, even though – and that's the value of the two points. You know what I mean? Even though, really, he's been playing pretty good on offense. He's scored every time. He's now on a two-possession lead deficit because of the two-point conversions, right? So having a good two-point scheme, having a good red zone scheme, all that is part of it. I think I'm just going to be in this prevent. I've heard this prevent could be decent. I don't know. I don't know what to do against Wildcat boys. Not in this playbook. There's just not – like 4-4 four, four is probably the best, and it did absolutely nothing for me. All right, thank you. He's not in Wildcat. It's the worst thing he could basically do here is a jet sweep. And we're going to get a delay game. All right. Let's see what he does here. 
Coldplay. Coldplay. Today. Today. Today, Junior. Yeah, I don't know how I would stop Wildcat. I really don't out of this. <laughs> Which kind of kind of not good. This should scream though off the edges. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. That's why I like. So, 6-1. So, the thing with 6-1 that you get that you don't get with 4-4 four, four is when you pinch the D-line, it's super compressed. So, like, all right, we need to really lock in here. Oh, no. Just please, please. I'm just trying to make tackles. I'm just trying to make tackles. I'm just trying to make tackles. Please, please, just catch him. Very good. <laughs> The thing is, he's like in a position where he objectively lost the game just because he can't stop my red zone scheme. Like, even though he'll probably score, because I just I don't know. I, I, I just don't have a, a good idea in this playbook. What I normally do to stop Wildcat is I'm in 3-3-5 Penny, and I don't have that in this book. So I just don't know what I want to call or do here. I'm trying to think if I have anything. I was looking at my notes. I don't have anything out of uh, Double Mug. Hopefully he just runs stuff like this. Like, this is perfectly fine. Yeah, this is good D. This is such good D. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Just rally and tackle. Rally and tackle. Rally and tackle. Very good. Make him work. Make him work. Okay, vert hook. We're going to hard flat this time just because the way he's playing. Yeah, look at this coverage. This is kind of good coverage. I don't know why I like this coverage. Bunch open tight end. I got to take this tight end streak. Let's go take that tight end streak. Take that across. I literally was right there. Dang it. Yeah, I like this coverage. I think I like this coverage better than what I was doing before. I wonder if I can vert. Uh, I can bluff blitz this dude. No, I can't. He went in a seam flat. That's not good. <sighs> Dang it. That's exactly what I was trying to guard. All right, let's try this. My dog's in. Robinson. I don't know why those guys aren't coming in. Kind of need, uh, honestly, uh, it's because I don't have quick jump at D, D in. I wonder if I, let me let me see. Let me, I want him to go back to the huddle. I want to see if I can actually get these guys in with a package. Dude, these, these, they, they just run the ball. Like, just run the ball. Gosh, we're going to no huddle, bro. I hate the no huddle, man. And the thing is, like, it's not good for the offense to go no huddle every play in this game. I feel like you get – like, you're, you're – we just did not tackle. Why do we not tackle right there? We're still going no huddle. Oh, my gosh, bro. Stop. That was actually a really good encroachment. Okay, so we're looking – let's see here. Packages. Let's look for – so we want 31 and 4. We want these guys in – the A gap. There we go. 31 and 4 in the A gap. Let's see where this put everybody. He'll probably score right here. Robinson, Keeley. Oh, yeah. And then we could put safeties. We could put safeties here. That's actually kind of fine. Yeah, we can't stop this, though. <laughs> oh, man. He's been doing us a lot of he's been doing us a lot of favors by passing the ball. I'm not gonna lie. All right, let's see if we can set this up. So so we have we have here Russo and Keeley, which is perfect. And then on the outside, we can put those linebackers that are fast, Lawson and Campbell. And then these two guys on the inside should be our our uh, our dogs. They are not our dogs. I don't want those guys on the field. I need to uh, I need to sub them out. I need to sub them out. Also, I need to figure out how to stop the stupid run. Boom! Bagged. Bagged. All right. Let's keep scoring. All right. We're cooking. We're cooking. I, for, I, I forgot you could do that. I forgot you could do the packages to get those dudes. Um, 
or I, I, I don't know. I, I didn't think it was that important, but as I was watching the Blitz, it was just super slow. You don't have to do it, but it's just going to make the Blitz better. The Blitz was coming in, but it was just slow, and because he has such a good quarterback, that's what makes it good. The fact that his speed is like you got a really fast quarterback is going to kind of help him out. This quarterback zone run is so good. And then you have a lot of other stuff, too. Like, it's not just the quarterback zone. For example, like this tight end middle screen, a lot of people, a lot of people are like, even just base. I mean, here, I'm going to just, I think I'm going to run this setup. This is one of my favorite setups in trips. Um, I don't think a lot of people run this, but I think it's decent. Got a high low on the left side. And then we're really high low in and putting a lot of stress on the middle of the field. And then the other thing I was going to show you here, this uh, RPO. Where is the tight end screen? Yeah, here we go. Orbit. The orbit tight end screen. This, this play is cool because you have a lot of stuff you can throw. So you're reading this. You can look out here to circle, see how they all go to him. And then I can just, if my running back's open, because the user is oftentimes going to be manned up on the running back. So what he'll do is he'll sit on that tight end screen if they, like, diagnose the fact that you're running the tight end screen. Then you can just hit the, the running back, right? So kind of a cool little play here. I wonder if this setup is actually good. I'm going to try this. I've been wanting to have an excuse to call this out route or this in route. So let's see. I'm, looking, I'm honestly looking for the in route here. And I have it. That right there, so many people need to run that run that tape back and watch what I just did on that in route. 15, 20, 25 yard in routes in this game are so freaking good. Like, please run them. They are so good against man. The deep blues don't guard them. There's so many good, 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 good combos with a deep in route that you can run too. This cross screen is really fun. Um, this is so many things. Like, Watch this little cross screen. I can kind of read this circle. I'm looking at circle. If he's open, he's not. But look how look at all of the blocking on this cross screen. This cross screen is so good as we just take it for six. Very good. Very he can't stop us. And this is why you run Bama. This is this is and didn't, I didn't even get into this. You have this formation too. And Wing Trips Week's pretty solid. It's it's like um it's kind of similar to U-Trips. It's kind of similar to just basic trips, right? He's going to be out of here. We'll have to show you in the next gameplay we do with Bama, the depth chart, and check out the uh, setup. But that's it. Ebooks are on the school page. Links in the description.